Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Super Mario 64 on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We're back with episode 3, and on today's episode of our 100% walkthrough, we're going to do the entirety of Jolly Roger Bay. It's going to be so much fun. So yeah, thanks so much for coming. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the content thus far. It's been a great time, and it's a great time to be a Mario fan, considering the fact that we have these games available all to us. If you haven't already checked out Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Sunshine, make sure you guys check that out. We got tons of uh, tons of content happening with those games anyway. So here we go. Let's jump in to get another seven, eight stars for today. There's one castle secret star that I'll show you guys, and then we'll jump into Jolly Roger. Uh, that's going to be right over here. Uh, I think I can kind of jump inside there if I do this. Really, guy? What the heck, man? <laughs> anyway. So, this is interesting. We're in a giant, like, window. I don't know, there's clouds on the inside, but this is all filled up with water. You're not really sure what's going on with this, or the thought process behind it. But, the fact is that we can uh, absolutely get eight red coins over here for one of the castle secret stars. So the thing about swimming with Mario is that there are a couple different ways of swimming. You could spam the A button uh, if you really wanted to. You can hold the A button to do a little bit of uh, foot kicking. So like armless swimming. Um, or if you're out here pressing the A button like ev pressing and holding the A button like every other second. Uh, so you get this sound effect. That's exactly the fastest way of swimming in the game. So make sure that you do this. When you hear the burk, 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 burk. I think that's the sound effect that thing makes. Burk, whack, burk, whack, burk, whack. <laughs> okay, at home, out loud, make an impression of that sound effect. I dare you. Did you get it right? Yeah, I bet you didn't. <laughs> Looking at me like I'm crazy trying to make that sound effect. Anyway, let's jump into Jolly Roger Bay, shall we? There's going to be seven stars over here, six normal ones, and then the 100 coin star. So let's jump in. Plunder in the sunken ship. Now, this level is notorious for being super scary. All right, just going to call it out now. Just going to call it out now. When I was a child, this level scared me. And I have an irrational fear. You see that thing over there? You see that thing looking at you with the sharp teeth and the eyeball? Yeah, him. Yeah, this thing. Ugh. Nasty. That thing. So we're supposed to bait this thing out. I'm like so afraid, I don't even want to go near it. Get out! What the heck, dude? Why aren't you getting- why aren't you getting out? I'm gonna die! And this is what gave me nightmares when I was a kid. Did you see that? He's supposed to come out! What's his problem, man? And that's what gave me nightmares as a small child. That exact- that eel? My goodness. So, I think the trigger for the fish to come out, or the eel to come out, is going to be going inside the cave. Uh, so I'm going to give that a shot. We're going to go swim right up next to him. There's a way of clipping into it. <laughs> but of course, I'm not that skilled, nor do I know where the clipping spot is. So I'm just going to go over here. We're going to take a quick breather. And then we're going to jump right back in. And he better be out of there. I think that's going to be the trigger. Yeah, oh, he's out. Oh, he's out and about now. Ew, nasty. Okay. So, when I was a child, and I played this game, 
Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you how scary it was. All right. So anyway, we got, we got four chests over here. There's going to be a specific order. That you have to touch them in. <laughs> well, not that good, but I was able to do this part without having to worry about doing the platforming. My goodness, was that scary. I'm sorry. If you ever have nightmares now, I apologize, but like underwater creatures after playing through this game when I was a kid, no way. Absolutely no way. Can the eel come out to play? Tool. Can the eel come out to play? Are you crazy? Why would you wish that? Why do you want to do that to yourself, Mario? Can the eel come out to play? Who in their right minds would want to go deep sea diving with a gigantic eel? To see if it wants to come out to play. Alright, anyway, it's over here. Look at this. Dead! I got one shot at this. Ooh, double dead! Oh no! Oh, so scary. I'm I'm telling you, man. The eel is just so scary. That's some Mamma Mia food right there. I can't deal with it. Mamma Mia. So there's a strategy involved with that one, and it's really all about hanging out on top of the area and then just, like, rotating the camera down so that you're able to see the eel and then just snipe his star. So I'm just gonna stand right here. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I think I got the star right there. There we go. See, that wasn't too hard. No, I wasn't. I just had to tilt the camera around and get it. Um, but anyway. How did I lose so much health? What was that? I thought I was at full. Alright, whatever. So can the eel come out to play? Sure, but not playing with me. I'm not asking for that. Nobody needs a friend. I'm sorry. Uh, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. All right, Treasure of the Ocean Cave is going to be an easy one. Uh, this one, we've kind of already seen where the Ocean Cave is at. Uh, where we took a little breather in the first little star area, that's where we should be going right now. It's too scary, man. Look at this guy. He's just... Look at how gigantic he is. No way, man. Hard pass. Sorry. Not about that life. Not happening with me. No, thank you. All right, here we are. Boof. Ouch. What in the world is that? Yo, let's trip these guys. And legit die? Yeah. No, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, let's jump right back in, shall we? Like, it never happened. What what happened? I don't know. You guys are crazy. Anyway, so again, Jolly Roger Bay is just not my level. I get really nervous when I play, when I play it. It's because that eel is there, and it's just, ugh. I don't know if you guys have ever gone, like, scuba diving or anything like that in real life, but if you ever see an eel that big, and you're, like, scuba diving, it's over. Alright, I'm not allowing any of these pillars to actually land on my head. Sorry. It's not happening. Anyway, there's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Mmm, close, close. There we go. Easy. It's just opening up the chests in the correct order, as usual. Treasure of the Ocean Cave! Woohoo! Same continue, let's go. Okay, here we go. Red coins on the ship afloat. Now, with this one, it's very imperative to actually collect as many of the coins as possible. Typically, when you're trying to optimize this game, 
you want to combine anything uh, together so that you don't waste a lot of time. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do the 100 coin star along with this one so that we can pretty much save some time and we don't have to do backtracking. Because if you think about it, the red coins are, if there's eight of them, eight times two is 16. That's 16 out of, uh, that's 16% of what you need for that star. Anyway. No! Oh! So this over here is a shell. You pick that up. You go surfing with it. Yeah! But, uh, I needed that red coin, so I'm gonna do that. Easily going to do that. Like, without hesitation, gonna do that. Alright, here's another red coin. I do not want to get hit by this little shell. So, I'm gonna kind of chill a little bit here, get my red coin, alright, and luckily the power, the power of the coins gives you air. The coins give you life. And you know what takes away life? That eel. Just don't even look at me. Oh my gosh, that eel's like right there! Oh my gosh, no thanks. Bad eel. Okay, good. Okay, so there's a life. That's an anti-green demon. <laughs> it's an anti-green demon. Um, I'll show you guys green demon a little bit later on. When we come across it. Okay, so there's some Goomba way here. We're gonna take one Goomba, we're gonna take two Goomba. Because we want their coins. Ooh, bully. Yo, we got griefers over here, man. Can't afford that. And there's a little ring of coins here. Wee! Beautiful. Alright, so there's really nothing else over here besides a metal cap. Uh, you can see that over there, that green exclamation mark is signifying that once we unlock the metal cap stage, uh, we will be able to walk underwater and get a certain star a lot easier. But of course, like in our first episode, we did the star without the use of the wing cap. And a little bit later on, we're going to do the star without the use of the metal cap. It's going to be pretty interesting. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to that eel. But we're going to continue on over here and uh, see what else we can see. Alright, so we've done this. We've done this one. Yep, that one opened up. We grabbed it. And there's another tr uh, little shell over here. Another clam with another red shell, or red coin, sorry. Playing too much Mario Kart, as you can tell. As per usual. All right, so we have the bob -omb here. We're gonna talk to this bob -omb, and we're gonna say, hey, do you know Bobby? Do you know Bobby from Paper Mario, the Origami King? Yeah, he blew up. <laughs> anyway, there's gonna be a red coin right up here. All right, beautiful. So now that we've done that, Yahoo! Ha ha! There we go. 75 coins. I'm missing a whole bunch of coins. What in the world? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. No, I didn't. True story, I did not. 90? I'm missing some coins! Oh my gosh, I'm actually missing some coins here. Where are we missing some coins, guys? Oh my goodness. I could have sworn we like looked everywhere. Probably in some spots where I can cannon. But uh, yeah, let's, let's look around. This is gonna be real rough for me if I don't figure it out. Uh, the little ship over there houses our last of the red coins. So I'm not really worried too much about that. Okay, so that's... Wow, this is not enough. Alright, let's see. Oh, you know, I think I know where they're at. I think I know where they're at. There's like a little ring of coins like underneath the pillar over here. All right, so typically what you want to do is you want to get the 100 coin star before going. I thought there was going to be like a little ring of coins here. Four coins? Really? Where? 
There we go. I knew it! I knew there was like a ring of coins somewhere. I'm like, yo, like I have to have this. All right, so there we go. It's just swimming right over here, this little ring of coins. And that was it. I'm like, oh, I know it. I know where it is. But I thought the ring of coins were like underneath the water. See, like this is my memory from, I mean, I would say 1996, 1997. But then, I mean, to be fair, we did play this game two years ago, so I don't know. Man, I can't even remember what I had for lunch, let alone, oof, a toxic box. Oof, twice a toxic box. All right, how about this? There we go. And we're done. Well, that took way too long. <laughs> anyway, I don't even remember what I had for lunch yesterday, let alone where these stars and coins are. So anyway, that's red coins afloat on uh, red coins on the ship afloat and our 100 coin star. So that one you do have to go around and collect every single coin that's available. So let's blast to the stone pillar. This one's going to be a relatively easy one. Should not be hard by any means. This one's really interesting. You can grind the edge if you fire a shot right over here and you'll be able to get it, but I like to play it safe and I like to line up the cursor. You see how the cursor is completely aligned with this? And then I like to fire about here. So I can grab this. There we go, and we're gonna turn and we're gonna burn. Yeah, just like that, blast to the pillar. Easy. Easy, easy. Blast to the stone pillar. You didn't have to do it much in that level. There's really nothing, man. Okay, here we go through the jet stream. Now, this one is, uh, I would say, if you are, um, if you're a fan of Mario games and you like challenges, this one is definitely a challenge for you. Uh, so anyway, do this challenge with me. Whoa, boom. It's not to land on this thing, but the challenge is to actually go through the jet stream without the use of the metal cap. Now remember I told you how to swim the best, right? When you hear that little sound effect, that's your best chance of swimming. Oh my gosh, wow. Woo! That's a workout, Mario. That's a workout. All right, let's let's reconvene. Let's reconvene over here and uh, we'll call it, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. I don't know if you can just go in through here. Wow, that's really hard. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. Wow. Dude, the up and downs? It's so hard. That's really, really hard to do. Okay, okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Um, now, remember, remember. You can come back to this. If this is too hard for you, you can come back to it later on in the game. And you can get the metal cap and you can walk over there and grab it. We like playing the game a little bit harder. So that's exactly the reasoning why we're doing this. But you c it's completely 100% possible. And I'll show you how. Wow, I will show you how. I can show you the way. Swimming under the water. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh my, you just overshoot it, man. I can't. I can't overshoot it like that. I have to get it. Going from the top is going to be my strategy for this one. Um, I remember I did this one on the live stream two years ago. I did it. It's possible. It's like riding a bike. You're practically touching it. He was practically touching it. Gotta adjust Mario's pitch too. 
Yes! Okay! Whoo! A little hard. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Wow. Through the jet stream without the use of the metal cap. If that's too hard for you, by all means, you can use the metal cap. But we decided to go challenge route. And that, ladies and gents, whoo boy, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. That was great. We're done. Through the jet stream. We did all, all, all six of them plus the 100 coin star. This is looking great. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we are going to continue. We're going to exit course. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope that you guys don't have any nightmares with eels and drowning and stuff like that. It's not real. It's a video game. Don't worry. Don't let your childhood be ruined by crazy, scary fish underwater. Just messing around with you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got tons more happening, so make sure that you guys are on board with Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. We even went through and played all the old school Mario games. It was a fun time. Make sure you guys are on board with it. Thanks so much for watching. Who oh boy. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm so tired too, man. Like, that was a really tough one. Oh my goodness. You should see it. Anyway. You guys are great. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for turning on notifications. And yeah, thanks for just being awesome fans. You guys are amazing. Thanks. I can't express that enough. Make sure that you guys are on screen uh, right over here. We've got the newest video on my channel. Uh, we've got the playlist over here. So watch the previous episodes. We're doing it all 100%. And it's going to be really, really fun. So thanks for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.